Hey guys, it's Ed again. And as you can see, we're down in the basement cave. So, what are we working on today? Well, can you see it? It's orange. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, that's not a that's not a home light. Yeah, no, that's a Husqvarna. I know, I know, I have not finished the home light. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Things have been a little busy around here. Uh, as you guys know, I bought that piece of property, so I've been working on that a little bit. Tried to shoot some video, but really hard to shoot video and cut trees down, you know, because then the tree falls on top of the camera, and, and it's expensive. Don't do that. So anyway, uh, so I've been doing a little bit of that. I do have a little tiny bit of footage. Uh, we're going to group that into something that's a little bit bigger. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so... Uh, then we took a little trip, went down to uh, North Carolina, and um, we were gone for, I don't know, four or five days, something like that. Went down, saw a friend of mine uh, that I haven't seen in 30 years. Yeah, yeah, something like that, 30 years or so. Uh, it was his 50th birthday party, so we kind of surprised him. So that was kind of fun. Uh, then, uh, let's see... Uh, Went down and around, come back up. So I said that was, we were down there for like five days. And uh, yeah, it was cool. So that's been busy, been crazy at work. Weather's been awful. Uh, every weekend seems to be raining. Uh, but that's kind of, you know, April showers, May flowers, hopefully. So uh, anyway, uh, let's uh, talk about this thing and uh, <laughs> show you what's up. Okay guys, so what we got here is Husqvarna uh, XP266 uh, that does not want to run. This belongs to uh, the guy that I bought the property from and uh, he asked me if I could maybe make it run. <laughs> I said we could give her a try. So as you can see, um, we've got the carbonator off and uh, yeah, so... I did order a new fuel line for it, but that hasn't come in yet. So we're going to try the old fuel line for now. And then um, I did get a brand new Tillerson original. Okay, you can get the knockoff ones for like five bucks. I sprung for like the $19 for this rebuild kit. So hopefully this is a good rebuild kit. And uh, we'll be able to get this carbonator back up and running. I did tear it apart quick, just took the cover off over here. I think it was this side, yeah. And there was some gunk in there, so I'm gonna spray this out real good. I may put it in the ultrasonic, I don't know yet. We'll see, uh, but definitely we'll spray it out real good. We'll see if that cleans it out and uh, we'll go from there. Okay guys, well, we got you set back up over here and uh, let's take this thing apart and clean her out a little bit. Actually, before we go too crazy, I think we're just gonna kind of give her the external blast here. Just to kind of keep some of the dirt out of it. So, that looks better. So, now my hands are covered in dirt. So this is a Tillerson, um, so RK23HS, so it's an HS carburetor, supposedly what I was reading, and I should look at the old home lights, because they said that they use a, um, same carburetor, I don't know, I think it's Super XL, holy crap, did I tighten that down, I told you I had this apart once. Just hoping, hoping that it was going to do what we needed, but couldn't get her. So, there we go. We got this part. So, let's confirm that our kit might be the right kit. Again, this was a uh, eBay special. Uh, this way, yeah, yeah, holes are lining up, 
yeah, everything looks pretty good. I think we'll be all right there. So let's get this gasket off. So there should be a gasket and then the actual membrane, we'll call it for lack of a better term. Let's make sure, let's just open this kit up here and see what we got. So there's the gasket, I think. Okay, where we left off, I don't know, battery died. So, um, anyway, yeah, so the membrane is here. Um, you can tell how it fits because of the shape. So that's a pretty much a no-brainer. Got to make sure you put the diaphragm or the uh, membrane on, and this one is really crunchy, man. I can really see, <laughs> look at all the stuff in there. So, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty stoked we're fixing that. Um, so you just want to pay close attention to know that your... Um, gasket goes on the top and the membrane is on the bottom get them in the right order so if you want to you could actually set this up over here so you know when you put it together that this goes on top of this like them so so that one is all ready to go back together and it's in the right configuration Boom, done. Okay, so let's take this apart over here. And see what we got cooking. Can't remember, this is the fuel pump side. I have assumption, this I did not take apart this side. So I'm pretty sure this is probably where our problem was because it did not pull any fuel at all. So it's definitely gummed up there somewhere. The fuel line is open. I pulled the fuel filter and um, fuel filter seemed fine. Um, so okay. Oh yeah, look at that. Grunky grunchy dirty. Yeah, there's all kinds of crud in this thing. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm literally wiping the varnish off it. So, yeah, that, she ain't going to run that way. I tell you, she ain't, she ain't going to do it. Even though the diaphragm ain't bad. Just trying to get this off without totally leaving all that gasket material that you got to scrape off of there. But she's not wanting it. It's not happy about it. It's hanging up right here. I may have to get a razor blade. Get under it. I mean, I'm not worried about ruining it. I just don't want to scrape on it for three days. Yeah. Nothing I could do. Um, under the diaphragm, that looks actually pretty good. The needle looks pretty good. I don't know if it's moving though. Oh yeah, I guess it's moving. We'll pull that apart, clean that out, blast that out good. We gotta get a razor blade. Do I got one? Maybe, somewhere. Get this scraped up, cleaned off, and then we'll just hose it out real good and see uh, if we can get fuel out of here. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Where's the hole? Here it is. Oh, I think I felt something hit me in the chest. <laughs> oh, that was fun. So, yeah. Okay, no problem. Let me uh, get this thing hosed out a little bit, and then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so all we're doing now is just kind of easy and not trying to dig, dig that aluminum up too bad should always scrape guys when you do this if you if you really got to dig on them scrape in the direction not out so theoretically when you put your scratches in it because you, you're going to put scratches in it you're going to put scratches this way not right out or in to the places where you don't want it to be this gasket i like to save it because it's not a bad gasket 
and I think it would work just fine. Oh man, that thing is dirty. Ooh, she is a dirty, dirty, dirty girl. So, so yeah, that one's not too bad. Just give it a quick little scrape in here. go. Oh, don't get it down behind it. Get it out of there. Because if you're going to try to... I mean, we got another gasket over here. I do like this one, though. That one looks like a good gasket. I might try to reuse it. <laughs> so, scrapey, 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 scrapey. You get the idea, right? Okay, let's pull this needle out, if we can, with this little screwdriver I got here. Holy moly! I gotta use the bigger screwdriver? You don't want to strip it out. It'll ruin your day. Ah, oh, there she goes. Okay, and don't lose the spring. There's a little tiny spring under here. You lose that, that'll really ruin your day. We don't want to lose that. Okay. So we'll get that little screw out of there. Get our needle out. Pull out our little spring. Yeah, that pen spring ain't gonna work for that. Let's, what, let's see what that looks like. You guys see that? Doesn't look too bad, but the kit does come with a new one. So we'll replace that needle. What else does this thing come with? Oh, it's got a new a new flipper dipper. I don't know. I mean, maybe. It's got wells plugs too, but we're not pulling the wells plugs. Trust me, guys. Um, it does have the new screen. I wonder if I can get the screen out. Or is that below? I kind of remember the screen, I think, is under one of those wells plugs. I think. It's not in the needle. Probably. I think that's where it is. I probably should try to pull them. I'm going to just see if I can blow it out. See if that'll work. Okay, try to blow the stuff right in your face, guys, if all possible. It's really, it's really cool. Try to put your fingers over everything you can. I'm not getting anything up through this hole. I'm getting it to there, though, so there must be a hole somewhere. There's that one. There's that one. Okay. Open it up. Now I'm to choke. Thing looks like right there. Probably should pull these jets out. Well, let's see here. Let's see where they're set. Half one so that's set it yeah that's set at one turn out so the one nearest the uh, throttle 
It was one turn. I don't know if that's the high or the low. Can't remember. Don't matter. Half. Eh. Maybe three quarters. Three quarters of a turn. So, one end. This one towards the choke plate. Three quarters. Let's blast them out. That one's not bad. Ooh. Okay. Just using my fingernail here to kind of get that gasket material off. We're getting her. We're getting her. Good. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to give her a whirl. Well, pulling those bells plugs, because if they leak, that causes a lot of issues. Well, let's get this cap cleaned up. That looks... What do you think, as I'm scraping it? With just my fingernail and some carb cleaner here. She's got a lot of gook in her. In the mouth. Yeah, that was fun. Okay. It's better than it was. Okay. So let's put the uh, we'll put the new needle in. Wherever that went. We'll put a new needle in it. I think I'm still not totally convinced I want to use the uh, old, the new um, pivot just because you know stock is usually a little closer to where we need to be got to get your little spring in there okay and then we got to get this under the needle I got to bring it up here where I can see it guys I'm sorry because I'm trying to do three things at once here. Got to get under the needle. Oh, well, you know why? Because you're going backwards, I think. Let's try it this way. Because that doesn't look right. Oh, that looks better. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is fighting me a bit. Okay, I'm in there. Okay, this is going to... I might have to get me a pair of needle noses. My fat fingers aren't really cooperating here. Let me get a pair of needle noses. Okay. And I dragged up a chair. Okay. My glasses are terrible, by the way. Just so you know, thinking, I might want to put the needle in. Okay, I got the needle. I got the needle. Okay, I got it. Did I get the spring? Oh, I got the spring too. No kidding. Awesome. And even got it on the right side. Come on, baby. Let's jam that down in there. Oh, I got it crooked. Get in there. There we go. That looks better. Okay. Needles moving. 
spring is where the spring should be. Okay, cool. So now we just need to put um, our gasket or our fuel pump back in here. We need that. Which way does that one go on? There's an alignment pin here. I think it goes this way. Yep. Good. Yep. On there. Yep. It's hitting good. Um, should be a gasket. Looks like the gasket was on the bottom side of that. So I guess we got to put the gasket on first. Sorry about that, guys. That's why we just look to confirm. Because it'll set the distances. We need to make sure that we have the distances right. Which makes sense because the gasket was stuck to the carb. Come on. Shake it the right direction, Ed. There we go. Yeah, it's still pushing on it. Okay, good. You just need that little pressure. No, is this the right side? No, this is the right side. How bad is this? Ew. Ew. We didn't clean that out, guys. I guess we should have. That'd probably make it run better. Okay. Cap that off. The little, little tiny screws. Notice I went with carbon choke cleaner instead of brake clean. Learned my lesson working down here. There's not a lot of ventilation. And I think it's because all the air soaks down. You know, like cold air sinks or whatever. So I don't think the air really rises up down here. And uh, it causes, uh, causes your lungs to kind of burn. That chlorinated stuff. I'll get hacking and coughing. This stuff stinks, but it's nowhere near as bad. So. Okay. We'll put the jets back in. It looked like this longer one went in this hole over here. And that one was in or out a whole turn, I believe. We'll go in and we'll come out half one and then this one was in out three quarters of a turn. Okay and yeah, what's that? Okay that's half and a little bit. Half and a little bit. Get us in the ballpark. So let's do this side. And we'll put this back together. We already got it set up over here. So I already put it together. So I know I got the flippers in the right direction. Now we just got to make sure that we get everybody down where they're supposed to be. That's covering up that hole. And that's covering up that hole. That's sort of covering up that hole. That's good. Okay, what do we do with the lid? Did I lose it already? Yeah, probably. And then we need to put this one on this way. No alignment pins on this side. So what are we forgetting? That's about it. The only thing I didn't put in there, there's a little brass screen too. That's a nice kit. Hopefully I don't need to change that. <laughs> I think they're under the wells plugs. I don't really want to tear into them wells plugs. Ugh, I hate wells plugs. Getting them out, you got to use a little drill bit. You got to drill them out, and then you got to pop them out. And then... So let's cross our fingers, our toes, and our elbows. And make sure, hopefully, that this will solve our issue. And oop, Stay put. No running away. Do that one? Oh yeah. Did I do this one? No. Oh, no. Let's do this one. Got it. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay.
let's put it back together. I saved the gasket because I like the green one because it's pretty. Um, bolt her back on and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay guys, when we go to bolt this on here, I did kind of try to spray some of the crud out of it. I'll put the card back on and give it a hose out, but these are a real pain in the butt. They're held on with uh, Allen bolts somewhere here. I don't know what the hell I did with them. Here's one. But um, they, uh, I had to take an Allen wrench and give it a, a little bit of a shortening so I could get in there, especially for this one. This one was a real pain in the butt. But anyway, let's bolt her back on and we'll see what happens. Okay, guys, just in case this thing didn't record, which I don't think it did, uh, let's try it again. So thanks again guys for watching, subscribing, and commenting, and uh, we'll uh, see you guys hopefully up on the lot, maybe cutting some trees, pulling them out with a giant payloader. Yeah, totally the wrong tool for the job, but it gets it done. Bye.